bit weird, didn't it, hun? Because we got a little bit... Well, I say we. I've let you down again, hun. I, I, she yeah. does say weird things sometimes. I shouldn't be allowed Marie. out. Um, you know, it was... Um, it was embarrassing. Love, absolutely amazing lovely to meet people them. really lovely uh, yeah after you've met someone like that you you go away and you relive what you've said and you think oh my goodness me they think we're proper wallies do you remember what i said hon i do remember i can't forget what you said <laughs>
Yeah, there would have been seven. Yeah.
Shattered. Absolutely shattered. I've become too old and too heavy to be doing this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, it was um, really good. Four hours we've been. We, we have been four, four hours. Four hours. Four hours. My it's... poor feet, hun. Yeah, quite poor a surprise. You know, we didn't know this was here. We sort of found it on the internet while we were in the, this area. Mm. 
And um, we didn't expect much. We we mainly no. chose it because it had an indoor element to it, and we thought, well, if it rains, yeah. it we've got the indoor bit. So yeah, that's it. And when we got here, I thought, oh, it's not very big, but it it's so set it, over lots of different areas, isn't it? So yeah. it's massive. Just kept going and going, didn't it? And when we got here, we heard this lady go, "It's Paula Marie." No, no, what did she say? Paula Marie. She's calling. Yeah. Isn't she? And we were Paula like, Marie. Oh no. <laughs> This is before we'd even got into the place. We're yeah, like, oh, we just yeah. literally walk into it and we recognised. Uh, thought, oh wow, <laughs> what are you doing over Tina, here? Tina, <laughs> lovely lady called Tina, who's a subscriber. So thanks yes, ever so much for you. saying hello. It was really nice to meet you, and um, we didn't say anything daft. Hopefully, well, fingers crossed, we didn't. Fingers no. crossed, we come across as sort of normal. I don't know if we'll ever be described <laughs> as normal. No. Um, but she happened to mention that the lovely luxury pickers, Bethany and Austin, visited mm. this boot sale. Mm. And we thought, oh, what are the chances of bumping into them? Yeah. And oh, oh my goodness, hon, it was, oh. <laughs> I didn't have time to prepare. When when we met um, Night's Life Rich, yeah. we had a bit of time to prepare, but I still said something stupid and, yeah. and told him he smelt nice. And it's it's haunted me ever since. Um, so then when we, we were due to meet Car Boot Chris, we, we we sort of had time to prepare to know not... not, not Don't say not, these don't sorts say, of things. Yeah, yeah, have a yeah. list of things. Don't say these because you're going to look stupid. Yeah. But we didn't have time to prepare and we... Bethany walked by us and we we were hovering going, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God it's, it's her, him. it's her. <laughs> Shall we say anything? Shall we just walk away? What shall we do? Like a couple of um, children. And yeah. then we saw Austin. And we were, oh, <laughs> And then literally we're shouting Austin, aren't we? As we're, we're walking not, towards... Well, we're not shouting Austin. Austin, just... Austin, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> like proper wallies, hun. Yeah. So um, he went off to get Bethany and their lovely daughter. Um, and then it all got a bit weird, didn't it, hun? Because we got a little bit... Well, say we. I've let you down again, hun. I can't, I... She yeah. does say weird things sometimes, I shouldn't be allowed Marie. out. Um... You know, it was. Um, it was embarrassing. Love, absolutely uh, amazing. Lovely to meet them. people, and really lovely. Uh, yeah, made yeah. our year, wasn't it, it? Oh, it has. But yeah. then you, after you've met someone like that, you you go away and you relive what you've said. And you think, oh my goodness me, they think we're proper wallies. Do you remember what I said, hon? I do remember. I can't forget what you said. <laughs> Can I touch you? <laughs> I still, I still can't believe I said it. Out of all the things to say to someone, can I touch you? And, and he, he sort of, he was obviously good. He didn't run off or anything. No. So I just sort of launched myself towards people, and um, poor, poor Bethany didn't stand a chance, did she? She no. stood there, and next thing I'm hugging her. Um, oh, so we're, it was so lovely to see them that their daughter. Um, yeah. She she said, "Oh, you know who these people are." And she went, "Ends Den." Oh, oh my, God. my goodness me! Their <laughs> daughter knows who we are. So yeah, it's been a proper moment. Um, yeah. We loved it. Yeah, love meeting them. such lovely, lovely people. But when when they walk away, you then re relive it all. Yeah, and they said such lovely things to us, and. We were just like, oh, we um, can't believe you're here. <laughs> we didn't say anything lovely to them, really, apart from, can, can I touch you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet they were, they were probably left the boots uh, out straight yeah, after. Yeah, so they ran. They <laughs> ran. Did you not see that smoke? The, they the, didn't the, want to bump into us again. They were like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, anyway. it's been a bit of a morning. Um, we've we picked up way more than we thought we would, didn't we? Yes, I, I was I was quite surprised because we knew it started early, but because we were away, we didn't really want to get up really early, and you know, because we're in a nice hotel. Well, and we're not, not that nice hotel. Close, we're in a hotel we? that. Um, you know, we, comfortable we, we, bed. Comfortable bed and the old all this. Sort of thing. In. Yeah, and we, you know, you you just you just don't want to get up <laughs> no especially on a sunday yeah we did a lot of driving yesterday so we were tired anyway yeah i'm sorry if the, the shake arm hurting. Of my arm's hurting there you go i'll put it there i didn't expect to be waffling for quite no. this it's, i'm still a little no. bit buzzy because we met legends that's what it I is i know it is yeah um, yeah yes oh goodness me what a morning we met, met tina then we, we met luxury pickers mm. we've bought way too much wicker oh loads of wicker um, wicker again yeah we Crazy had to come back lady. once though didn't we we did we did quite yep. well because we didn't have our trolleys did we but no but it's, um, it's quite a nice place it's got a market here as well and food's um, nice food's nice yes, we did, very yeah. nice yeah. coffee was nice in a mug 
I know. In a china mug at a boot sale. Mm. That was quite a nice touch. It was. Um, we haven't tried the toilets out. We're not. We can't. Go, that's a step too no, far, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, we're going to go yeah. off now and have a nice <laughs> costa. Yeah, we're going to we're going to find a costa. We don't know. You know, we don't know the area, so um, we're we're going to see what we can find and, and use the um, toilet and costa. And use the, <laughs> the costa toilet. Yeah, that's it. But um, but yeah. So no, we, we're quite pleased. We're not sure what we're going to do yet. We're going to head home or we're going to go do something. We're going to have a bit know, of a sit down. My feet. We are going to have a sit down. Yeah, my back. Yeah. <laughs> It's it. sort of showing me we need to do a bit more exercise before we fully launch into um, boot sale season. Bit of a shock yes, today, I think. It was a bit of a shock. We are, you know, we have started our diet again and we yeah. are starting to lose weight again, which is good. Um, but, um, but yeah, no, we, we do need to, fitter, we need think, to we? notch up the exercise, definitely. Mm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think we're, we should stop now because we're waffling a bit now. Yeah, I, I think, think we'll have to show them all the stuff oh, at the yeah, table because yeah. we'll, there's we'll, so much. Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll go back. We'll we can go work back out all the prices home. then, can't That's we? It, yeah, sort we'll, that we'll show all the stuff we bought. I mean, I don't know if you can really see there. but there's, oh, there's quite... Don't get too close on this my wrinkles. <laughs> there's quite a few bits back there. But, I put my um, makeup on really early, my eyeliner. It? It's probably all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, so yeah, so we'll we'll leave it there for a minute and um, go like and get I say, that costa. We'll, go and get the costa <laughs> yeah. Excellent. <laughs> well, we're back from this amazing boot sale. Amazing boot sale. Oh, it's so Fantastic. exciting, isn't it? Our first one of the year as well. Yeah, we've yeah. Got loads of tat. Very exciting. Yeah, we have got a lot of tat. We are going to apologise now because we are feeling a little bit worse for wear today. It's not alcoholic related, is no, it? No, it's, it's just not alcoholic sheer related. Sheer exhaustion no. from going to the boot sale, the tiring weekend, all that travelling. Yeah, yeah we're the just, excitement we're just, of meeting people. I know, we're just very tired. <laughs> today we feel like we need another day's sleep to get over it. So we're trying yeah. to be as peppy as we can, but um, even though it's morning time, it feels like it's late at night. Yeah. I'm going to try and keep my eyes open, hun. Um, it's and we're gonna, don't we? Yeah, we do. It's so so tired, um, but we're going to go through what we got at the boot sale because um, I think we got some good stuff. No, I, I say when you look around, it's it's not bad. I think you know. Um, so so yeah. I was up um, to all hours doing the research as well. So all you don't hours. know. You don't know the no, prices of some I'm, of this tat. Maurice um, looks like she's put a load of tickets I all have, over yeah. the items. So. I, Again, I haven't got a clue what prices she's put them at. And I've got like a tower of wicker there, dangerously placed, mm. which is out of shot, so that's good. You can't see how dangerous it is. So should we get to it then, hun? Yes, let's get to it. You so get I'll started start, then. You start, start your side. Um, it's an um, electronic organiser. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't picked one of these up before. Um, I just thought I'd give it a go. It looked quite old. You know, as in like um, probably Vintage. 90s, late 80s, 90s, mm. maybe something like that. Um, it's weird. You know, I've seen other people pick them up in the past. Um, so I thought, well, why not? So I asked and um, it was four pounds, wasn't it? Mm. Um, and um, yeah, you see that. Um, and yeah, so I haven't taken it out and checked it. It's all right, my love. But it looks testing. like, oh, 22.99. That's if it is working. That's so if it's we'll working. keep our fingers okay. crossed there, hun, but that's... Um, I mean, hopefully it is. I mean, it seems to be, it's all there, you know, it's still in its um, plastic protective um, case. So it all looks good. So fingers crossed that's working. And if it is, like I say, 22.99. 20, so that'd be good. I'm going to show them the, my, my favourite thing because I can't, I can't contain myself any longer, hun. I have to show them. Is it them. that up there? It's that yeah. up there, yeah. yeah. I come across this. It was £2. And some of you are going to think, oh my God, that's ugly. But um, it's a gorgeous, <laughs> it's a gorgeous, <laughs> unusual um, wicker basket. Now I'm going to say swan. Swan, it's too long a neck for a duck, isn't it? It's there? not a duck, no. It's got to be or a swan. Or it could be a goose. It's, yeah, it could be. Yeah, His a beak's bit. a little bit loose, um, but it's like a fruit fruit basket, like a vintage one. I think it's from a special place. I need to do a bit more research on it. Yeah. But you know what it's like when we buy things and I quite like them. I go a little bit high with the price and just to chance my arm because I, I can appreciate the quality of the workmanship that's gone into that. Yeah. So we paid £2 and we're going to be putting up for £44.99, hun. They're a little bit rare. <laughs> <laughs> I know. A little bit cheeky, that. It's I don't want to cheeky. sell it, hun. I don't want to sell it. It's gorgeous. So we'll price it high in the hope that it doesn't sell. That's how we. Um, I sometimes. Well, price it high and I hope it does sell. <laughs> That's like my approach to reselling. Sometimes yeah. you can't keep everything, but sometimes you want to. 
Um, no, there's some. Um, I've looked on the internet. There's not one exactly the same as that. A lot of no. them, hun, have the wings. See the wings here. A lot of them have the wings that come up and then have a handle that goes over. And, so I haven't seen any that are fruit baskety like that. Okay. Well, so we'll give it a go. That's, that's People are good. laughing now, hun. They can't hear. They can't hear us because they're laughing at the yeah, price. I know. I but know. But we'll give it a go. Give it a go. Right. Put that beauty there now. I've got this wildlife game. We've had this before. Twice we've had this before. Twice before. And sold it for sort of, I think, late 20s, early 30s. Oh, right. Something like that. It's quite been quite good. Yeah. But okay. when I bought this, um, you tell him how much it was, hum. 50 pence. And the man said, um, it's not all there. And I said, that's okay. That's okay. Um, but he said, that's why it's 50p. And I thought, yeah. well, I appreciate that. Because um, yeah. you can sell the spares and there's money, there's dice, there's... Um, the cards so I haven't been through it completely but I already know it's not complete um, what price have I put on there hun? 11 99 yeah so I'm looking at a tenner if we can get a tenner mm. for the bits and pieces but yeah if you can get this one in it is complete then yeah we like I said we have sold it sold it for quite of, good money yeah good money, I'm sure yeah, like 28 it, so. 29 pounds something like that yeah maybe, yeah. maybe 32 so um, yeah. yeah, so the spare parts are worth something as well. That's it. Because I think it's from the 60s, so, you know... It's quite an old game, yeah, it definitely when, when is. When you get to that sort of age, you're going to have missing bits, aren't they? Of course they are, of course they are. Um, You'd be, yeah, it would be, a, I suppose, a tough thing to find one that is um, that is complete, but now there's no year or anything. So I'm going to go for this now then, hun. This is a gorgeous um, match... I think it's a match... I don't think it's a match box... It could be a match box case or matches case... Um, but it's gorgeous. It's like a wooden, um, oh, I'm going to have to lean right over with brass. It's got brass on the ends. <coughs> Sorry, you're seeing my sausage fingers. Um, it opens up. It's got like a, a red stone. It's not a ruby, um, but it's, you know, some sort of stone from the garden they've stuck on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's not, I loved it. When I saw it, I appreciated how, how gorgeous it is, you know, the mm. age of it and everything. Yeah. So anyway, it was, that's that one there, it was say, a pound, yeah, yeah that would be nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? It's a pound and we're putting it up for 16 99 It's not worth masses of money, but oh, um, is, is we've rescued it from a stall thing, and we're hopefully someone who collects them. It's a bit different, I haven't seen one the same online, so mm. 16 99 how no, that's that what that's going up for. that would be fantastic if we could get that. And we've got a bag, a rucksack here. We've clocked a stall, hun, didn't we? We clocked a stall. Everything was the same price from there. Yeah, it was all... Beeline, yeah. made a beeline. <laughs> when, when everybody, when people shout out everything 50p, we yeah. said, oh, let's have a look. Well, they're like a shot, aren't we? We're yeah. elbowing people out of the way. <laughs> yeah. So what is this? This is a Slipknot um, rucksack. And even though I'm old, yeah. I have heard of Slipknot before. <laughs> it's something the youth listen to. <laughs> the youth. <laughs> so um, I thought, well, you've got to be able to get more than 50p for that. Yes, and it looks like you can. So, um, well, you... we haven't sold it yet. But... No. But... <laughs> We're going to try, huh, aren't We're we? We're going to try. try. There's obviously, there must be a reason you put that price. But well, 20... there's a few there, and some of the new ones go for quite good money. So Yeah. Twenty two ninety nine yeah, is what in, we're aiming for it's on this one. Nick. It's a bit dusty. I need to give it a little bit of a wipe over. Yeah, just it's not too bad though. Not too bad, no, no but, wear on it at all. It's just a yeah. little bit of dust, little bit of dust. So yeah. yeah, right from the same stall with the matchbox thingy jiggy. It was um, this gorgeous um, sort of wooden. I don't know what that's it's even for. It's got a lino in it. What, yeah, what, I don't know. It's not, it wouldn't be for it's, ice. It's um, too small. I think that says land. Landcraft, Landcraft, laminated woodware. Ooh. So that'll be going on the title. Yeah. Um, it's gorgeous though, isn't it? Really nice, vintage, but not worth a lot of money. Um, we paid two pound. Um, that, he let us have that because we bought a few bits from the store. Mm. We wanted three, let's have it for two. Fourteen ninety nine, hun. Okay. You'd think it'd be worth more than that, wouldn't you? Look at all the work that's gone into so that. There's a lot of work that's gone into but, it. But um, right? there's quite a few of them. They're quite common, I think. But yeah. I liked it. So yeah, it's that. Okay, we've got a puzzle. Ooh, sealed, boom. A sealed puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't be doing that one. No, definitely not. It's uh, Falcon Deluxe. Um, we tend to go for the named ones because they tend to be a, a, a bit better quality like Ravensburger, Gibsons and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, it's a thousand piece puzzle. Yeah, the signing of the Magna Carta. Oh, oh, that's all right. I've got a lot of reflection there. Hang on a minute. Whoa. Oh, that way, that way. There we go. Um, yeah, a pound we paid for it. 
It's good, isn't it? And um, yeah, because it's silver, we're going to go up for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, that's more of a sort of a Q four price, huh? Yeah. But sometimes yeah. you think, I don't know, some of the prices for new puzzles are silly prices. Um, I think it's definitely. <laughs> I can see you yawning. No one else can see you, but I can see you. I was having a sneaky yawn behind the, behind the puzzle. Move it over to me now. <laughs> Your turn. Oh. So, um, oh. anyway, back to work. The um, Yeah, so you sort of expect it to be worth more. Yeah. So I have priced it high, um, but, you know, we want to get as much money for it as possible, don't we? We don't mind hanging on to it for a little bit longer to get a bit more money. So. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at this fella then. I spotted him. Someone's done a picture on the internet, hun, and the the, the f first picture is just is just this. There, it's just his face. Oh, right, so okay. When you're scrolling down, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a gorgeous face, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, his cute. name is a Thai Beanie's Buddy. So the Beanie's Babies are the smaller ones. The Beanie's Buddies are the bigger ones. Let me show you his face. Let's see if you're scrolling down, you see that fella. <laughs> <laughs> he means business. He does. His name is Cheeks. Uh, he was a pound. I couldn't not get him for a pound. Oh, look, he's got a funny coloured bottom. We're going to put him up for eighteen ninety nine, honey. He does go that's for right. quite good money. Mm. So that's that's a bit of luck. That's excellent. Stick him in there with the duck. All right, what have you got? Brass item. Now, I'm going to have to admit something here, hun, because this was the, the end when, um, you know, when the woman was shouting out 50p, 50p for everything on the stall, and you turned around and there was like a trail of fire behind me where I'd shot That's off. That's right, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. What I didn't do is look at it properly. Have you have a look on the front? It's engraved. <laughs> so, so it's engraved John 21st. 21st. <laughs> now, I've got a plan, hun. I've got a plan. Oh, Emily you? is going to be 21 in June. If we start nicknaming her John, <laughs> see, see right, if John. by June she accepts that nickname and then we can give then it to her. Then we can give it to her, yeah. If not, we'll try and sell it. But the chance of finding someone called John... Who's going to be 21. 21... Um, yeah, okay. Because John's more of an older name these days, isn't it? It is, yeah. Chances of finding that. So this might be... Don't know um, if you can see that. I don't know, um, This might have to go into a bin of brass that uh, we end up scrapping at some point in the future. Yeah. But I, I priced it just as what it would be if it didn't have John 21 on it. So people oh, can get well. an idea. Yeah. This is what happens when someone has a 50p store and you try and fill your boots. You don't look properly, do you? The bonus is it's only 50p. Yeah. So, 50 pence we paid, and we're going to be trying to, give it to, to put Emily. it up. <laughs> yeah, trying to give it to Emily, see what she does. Um, 11 99 Yeah. What can you do, hun? Yeah. It's always the problem with engraved stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's have a look. I've got Bambi here from the Disney store. The lady was saying that her toys were £1.50, so we sort of thought, oh, it's going to be £1.50, and we asked, and it was. She's got the Disney store tag still. Very cute, sitting down Bambi. Um, not worth a great amount, fourteen ninety nine. We'll be lucky, I think, if we get about twelve ish for that. But it's good, isn't still, it? It looks new, so um, yeah. you know. Yeah, still good enough profit. Yeah, happy with that, hun. Happy with that. Excellent. All small stuff as well, which is good. Oh, this was from the fifty p store, so this makes up for the um, oops the brass mug. You don't yeah. break it. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, I didn't that realise that's quite a weight in there. Brass isn't is yeah. brass against China. I know. <laughs> I know, who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> but I think these are sort of decorative bells, aren't they? So, um, they are not decorative. Expected people no, to start ringing them, yeah, exactly. But, yeah, so it's a lovely bell. So it's got uh, Christmas 1980. So I'll put my glasses on, hand so I can read it. Is it Grafton? I've, I've looked up Grafton. Oh, jeez. It might be that on the inside. On the inside. Uh, well, days Grafton, of yeah. yeah. 12 Days of Christmas, second mm. edition. Yeah, that's quite cool. So, um, not bad. Nice. We paid 50 pence yeah. and it's going up for 12 99 All right, isn't it? Probably get a yeah. tenner. Yeah. At Christmas. <laughs> 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 Might have to wait for that. Yeah, probably. Um, oh, Christ, sorry. I've probably burst your eardrums. Then I'm going to look at this basket here, hun. <laughs> yes, <a> square, then. <laughs> this sorry. basket, which is the first thing we picked up. Now, you may have noticed, hun, that it looks a bit different. It's because I've cut the liner out of it. Oh, okay. I'm not, when I see a basket with a liner, mm. it's it's nice, but unfortunately the liner can sort of date it a bit or can be stained. 
and I think without the liner it can appeal to more people so I've cut the liner but I haven't taken all the thread off yet right okay uh, so I've done half a job there it was two pound and we'll be putting up for 18.99 uh, mainly because it's only a small one yeah um, the lady said that her child used to collect eggs in it oh. so I couldn't wait to cut that liner out <laughs> <laughs> dirty eggs <laughs> <laughs> there you go well I'm going to put that behind me hun because I'm struggling now with space alright I'm going to go with this now we think um, do we think this is still a camera bag? I think so, yeah. I think it's, I think it's, it's quite leather. old. Leather. It's heavy, isn't it? It is heavy. Solid. Um, it's an okay condition. Obviously, it's quite old, so there is cracking on the leather. Mm. Um, it's clean. And I'll show you the inside. Yeah. And uh, it's got the... Get that out. With the dividers, bit of a law, yeah, a bit of a law, yeah. Uh, dividers for the inside. So, we um, think that's what it is. It's so someone's going to say it's completely, yeah. Different. No, I, we, we can't think what else it could be. No, it, it's very solid, it's got a solid base. Um, so I'm personally, I am thinking it's more of a, a camera bag, yeah, because it's got the, the two handles that yeah. clamp together, and it's also got the over the shoulder bag, the shoulder it sort of looks. Well. Camry baggy. Yeah, but Camry baggy, that's, <laughs> that's the technical, technical term. term. That's it. Camry baggy. Um, yeah, well, we paid a pound for this. Oh, whole pound. A whole pound, yeah. Um, and we're going to be putting it up for... I know. 39 It's because it's a bit unique, I think. Can yeah. you find another one? So, like I say, is this... I will clean it is first. Is this a pluck? One is it, or is it? Have you have you seen anything similar? No, I've seen others for so, for similar prices, but not the same as that. Right. So I thought, well, aim high and let's wait until it meets its sort of yeah price. Okay. But I'm hoping no, I mean, it's good. lovely and solid. It's, it is a lovely case. Um, yes, okay. There is, you know, obviously some of the uh, metal bits. There is a little bit of uh, rust and things like that, but it's old. Mm. It's um, I think. Really old, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, so, um, so yeah, so no, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Hopefully, we, that's what we can, uh, what we can achieve. Fingers crossed. Mm. So I'm going to go with my other favourite thing. I know you shouldn't have two favourites, but I have. Um, my other favourite thing that I clocked on a stall that was like a, um, um, like furniture removal type, um, house clearance oh, yeah, type clearance, people. Yeah. And yeah. you, you sometimes you don't want to ask because you think, oh, they're going to have a silly mm. price on that. And I asked, and it wasn't a silly price. And I was like, oh, try not to look too excited then. But it was £1.50 for this gorgeous, gorgeous sort of um, bamboo, sort of woven bamboo bin, rattan bin. Um, now, what it did have when we picked it up, the reason it was probably quite cheap, because it's very solid, is that, I don't know if you can pick it up here, This dark, there's a dark patch here. This was all green and mouldy, and I mean furry mouldy. Um, so what I've I've done, hun, once you know we've recovered from the shock of it, because it, right. it's obviously had some food or something that's then rotted. Yeah. And it was proper green and furry. So what I've done is very briefly, hun, is got all that off with a um, a paintbrush. Well, if you're you are buying wicker, and they, you know wicker can be um, quite bad at collecting dust. So what we tend to do is have a um, like a stiff paintbrush and that gets in all the nooks and crannies and that's how we clean all our wicker. Um, so what I've done, Hans, is I've gone over it, but you can mm. see it's got residue, it needs more time It needs time something spent else. It. It's like it needs like a, a steam uh, Yeah, it need, I didn't want to thing. make it too wet So because yeah. it was quite damp when I'd give it a brush off. So I do need to clean it properly, but that's why it was on um, mm. that price. I think you just want to get a shot of it because it yeah. was furry. Yeah. So it was one pound fifty. Um, I will put it up as a um, a planter slash waste paper bin, but it's vintage. It's gorgeous. So it's going to go up for a high price hunt because I really like it. Thirty two ninety nine. Um, we probably wow. will get around the twenty five twenty eight mark, hopefully. Right. Um, but it's lovely. But it mm. just goes to show a boot sale. You know, people don't know the value of some of these sorts of things. So yeah, um, I think. Because some of them are a bit bulky, I think... They want to get rid of them, don't they? They just, they just want shot. They, mm. You know what I mean? They just... Uh, yeah, they just want to get rid of them. So, can that go yeah. on the floor, hun? Because yeah. I've, I'm working my way down the mountain. Okay. Thanks, so, mum. Am I starting on wicker now, am I? Um, why don't you do the mug? Oh, no. Go okay. the mug, look, because you won't want to be doing that wicker. Oh. 
Right. That's for the mug, that bottom one. That one, so yeah. that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Right. We have this um, Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, Paris yeah. mug. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> now look. It's a genie mug. Yeah. It's quite cool. It's sort of tapered at the bottom, isn't it? It's, mm. um, do we know what year? No, but if they if you've got a new one, they they are going for like thirty two pound new. Are they really? Yeah. Okay. Well, so I don't we know paid if a, a bit rare. But... Yeah, it's very thick actually, mm. isn't it? Um, we paid a pound for this, which is quite cool, and we're going to put it up for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. So yeah. I think so I'm going cool. to the bottom. to do the stall. We had a stall with some tray boxes that were fifty p each, and um, I filled my boots. So I'm going to show you. What we what we bought and how we're going to break them down. So we bought five things from the lady. So we had this. So everything was fifty p each. So we had this little um, like a rattan woven bowl, not very big, but very. Um, you feel that it's quite nice, isn't it? It's yeah, really it's cleverly made. Well done, yeah. Um, that is going to go up for twelve ninety nine. Then we've got these two here. These cute, cute. Tiny little mm. baskets that I couldn't leave, hun. No. But they're not really worth a lot, so I'm going to bundle them with other small, cute yeah. baskets that I may buy in the future. <sighs> so let's put those in there. So at the minute, we're just selling one. Then we've got this gorgeous one, hun, which would have had a little plant in it. Yeah. But it's a lovely sort of style, whether it's 50s, 60s or something like that. It's quite quite old. Um, that we're going to put up for 12 99 even though it's tiny. Then we've got this one, hun. Which was um, going to go up for fourteen ninety nine. It's um, I don't know. It's like, like, a fry, sort of like a frying pan. Yeah, but it's like a. Is it like a? Yeah, I think it's like a serving. A, Would you like there? some bread? Yeah, that sort of yeah. thing, isn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. Mm. So I may. It may look like I've done a few there, hun. But yeah. did you want to do old Ted here then? Oh, should I do this one? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll get old Tazzy done. Tazzy, I got Tazzy. Let's pop that there. All right, yeah. nice. There he is, look. Yeah, we paid a pound for him. Um, was it the same store as that? It was, yeah. It was the same woman. She was yeah. doing um, at a crate, didn't she? A pound crate. Yeah. And we only got it, really, because we've sold Tasmanian Devil stuff, and they, they have got quite a good mark-up, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, it's brand quite new popular. with tags. Well, I say brand, brand new. new. He's, he's, he's quite old, but he's still got his tags on. Originally, it was brand new. <laughs> Originally, it was brand new, yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah. Um, paid a pound and we're putting them up for fourteen ninety nine, mm. and which is not bad for a little thing like that. No, really, it's good. Is it? so. I'm going to go for this gorgeous thing huh, that I saw and thought was so unusual. I've got to have it. It's um, what they call popsicle sort of folk art. Do you want to hold it up, hun? And it is um, lolly sticks um, that have all been stuck together, arranged in a pattern, whether they've been lacquered or varnished or whatever. Um, yeah. Whether they've been, I don't know, this sort of looks like it's been made by a company rather than a person. It, I don't know, I'm just that, looking at the yeah. inside, looks quite... It does. Looks quite good. Yeah. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah, I think it probably has been made by but a company. Because they're unusual, they do go for good money. Um, when yeah. I, It took a while to Google it, because when you put lollipop stick, nothing comes up. Hmm. And then I found it's popsicle stick, which is American, isn't it? It is. Uh. I think it's always American. <laughs> um, so, um, and, you know, use the word crafting, folk art, and, um, yeah, quite a few of them on there. Some hmm. lovely designs. But we paid a pound, and we'll be putting that up for 22 99 because it's a bit unusual, hun. Yeah, it is quite cool. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got that tray then. That tray, this tray here. Is this brass? Yeah, brass tray. Hexagonal. Yeah. Again, lovely. Um, is this the 50p woman, is it? Or not? Is this in a different store? It's a different store, I think. Different store, wow. No, it was the 50p woman, you're right. <laughs> Just had a flashback. It was. I was like that grabbing when yeah. I grabbed as much as I could. Yeah. So it's got a few dents on it i don't even see really but um, it's aged it's, it's been it is used, yeah it? it is yeah it adds to quite, it it does add yeah so <laughs> we pay 50 pence and it's going to go up for 18.99 mm. even with all those little dents in it i don't even see that but <laughs> that adds to the charm <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yes right well i'm going to go for this beauty which um again is a reason why 
we shouldn't be too scared of asking for prices because I don't, um, oh, is it there? I, I'm not very good at asking for the prices of things f from people that are clearly dealers mm. because um, it's embarrassing when they go £15 and you go, oh, I was expecting to pay two. So um, I'd already walked past this and I said to Paul, oh, I really like that basket. So I sort of engineered it so you asked. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was only £3. So I was lucky that someone else didn't get it, really. Mm. That sort of shows I'm to be braver, honey. You need to be braver. You do need to be braver. Look at this, gorgeous. Okay. It's quite deep as well for a, for a sort of a... It's not a tray. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like a serving basket sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, that's it. But we paid £3 and we're putting up for twenty eight ninety nine, hum. That's good. It's lovely, isn't it? That's not bad at I all. I need to be that's braver because I could be missing stuff. It could be, that's By not the asking. Thing. yeah. That's it. But it is embarrassing, though, isn't it? it is, when someone goes, well, £40. Pounds. Yeah, I did have that, though, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you had a I was, camera. I, I was looking at some cameras, and I, and I, I thought, oh, yeah, he's a dealer. But anyway, I, I was brave. And you yeah, thought, i it, it was something like £45. Pounds. <laughs> yeah. And I think, uh, yeah. Um, okay, no, I'll you. think about it. <laughs> As you leg it. Yeah. Right, did you want um, this little fella? I've tucked his price under his glasses, look. Okay, so we got this... Uh, where's he from? Was it Air 2000? Yeah, little, it's pilot, like a little bear. pilot bear. He's quite cute, still got his tags. Um, yeah, it's a Kill Toys. Is, is it Kill Toys? Yeah, Kill Toys. Yeah, some yeah. of their stuff is quite um, collectible. Mm, 50 pence we paid for him, and we're going to be putting him up for 12 99 Yeah, mm. so let's see what we've got left. You've done the bear. Yep, um, two things, hun. Two things. This gorgeous basket. This is a bamboo basket. It's only tiny, but I liked it with the, ba the bamboo handle and it's um, mm. sort of a, a woven, I don't know if that's a woven straw and bamboo, just a bit different. The handle seems massive, doesn't it, compared to the size of the basket, but a bit different. Nice for a centrepiece on a table. It was one pound and um, we'll be putting up for 18 99 See how we get on, hum. Yeah. Well, See that's, how we that's get on with it. I mean... You know, it's, it's it's good, isn't it, when you can pick something out like that for a pound and you're getting sort of nearly 19. Um, but, um, but yeah, so you've got really this, good. You've got the last, Sorry. The last item, hun. Oh, Christ, you poked me eye I know. That. <laughs> what is it? Well, I think it's like a horn. I don't know if it's horn. Um, I don't can know. Can you sell horn? I don't know if you can sell horn. Is it bone or something along those lines? Okay, sorry, I'm looking at it. I'm not <laughs> showing you, am I? It's quite um, quite nice. I don't know what sort of bird that is, whether it's a, a heron or I'm going to have to have a bit of a know. Google with that one. Beak's quite quite pointy. Yeah. But yeah, he's quite cute. Um, paid 50 pence for it. And um, we're going to be putting them up for 11 99 when we find out what, what it is. What actual material <laughs> What it is and what it's made of. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, but, I think um, that's what they are, a few online, so. Yeah. So that sort of concludes, hun, what we bought this week. Yes, it does. So I'm going to cover the price. How much do you think we <laughs> oh, spent on this? all this tax? Well, there's a lot of 50p items here, isn't yeah. it? so it's going to surprise me, I think. This was the amazing um, thing with the boot sale, is that you get stuff, you can get stuff so cheap. Yeah. We were so excited, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, Racing yeah, yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. I bet we missed quite a lot, though. <laughs> yes. Um... Well, we didn't get there as early as we perhaps should have done. We no, we didn't. Be a bit lazy, weren't we? <laughs> bit of a shock getting up that time. Yeah. Go on then, what do you think? I reckon it's got to be around about 50, 60 pound. 30 pound. 30 pound? 30 pound. That's all we paid for all of that. 30 nice. pound. That's what I mean. That's why I love a boot sale. You get some proper bargains. You can. Look at the listing value. Why don't you do the old big reveal listing value? Wow, £486.75. Now, before you start thinking we're amazing at what we do, um, we do have to be realistic. The, mm. That equates to 25 listings, what we've just shown there, yep. hun. And as always, with our very exciting um, videos, we like to be realistic. Just because we put a price on something, that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get that price, no. or anywhere near that price. That is just us gauging it by looking at solds, and um, keeping our fingers crossed and hoping for the best. <laughs> so what we're going to do is go down and um, break down the, the fees and everything so you get more of a realistic um, sort well, of... It's more of the what potentially what you could get yeah. for profit. That's it, um, based on, on what we bought. On a full price and 
Yeah. Now yes. this week, hon, because we bought so much, um, it didn't leave much of the page left to do the figures. <laughs> so you're okay, really so going to have to study that. Out, you're going to yeah. have to study I'll that. I have to study it normally. I know, but I'll, 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 I'll give you a bit of assistance. So this is what <laughs> we're starting with. Right, so we're starting with £486.75. pence. Now, uh, on eBay, we have um, eBay fees, which boo. on uh, boo, <laughs> yeah, which on average is around 11.9% plus VAT. Um, that we, we sort of take an average because different categories have different different um, percentages. Yeah. So we, we sort of try and do an average. So that's um, £69.50 in um, eBay fees. And then you have the order transaction fee. So every single order... Uh, you make on eBay has a 30p plus VAT fee. Um, and the 25 listings, uh, that would equate to £9 for the order transaction fee. So total eBay fees would be £78.50. The post um, is approximately... I mean, it looks like you've put one thousand. I know it does look like stuff, that, but um, it's not going to be that. Is that a hundred pounds? That's a hundred pounds. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, roughly around about that. Uh, so the total fees and postage would come to one hundred seventy-eight pound fifty. You take that away from your starting price of four hundred eighty-six seventy-five, would give you three hundred eight pounds and twenty-five pence. Then take out the um, thirty pounds that we paid for all the items, gives us a best case profit of two hundred and seventy eight pounds and twenty five pence. A cracking week, hun. What a cracking start That's, to the year with the boot sale. If it all sells at full price, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, we'd be clapping quick, our hands, yeah, wouldn't we? That's it. Yeah. Um, but in um, reality, it won't. We might no. get four or five things sell for full price. And <clears throat> it might not be the most expensive things that sell for full price. Yeah. You just don't know. So what we like to do in our videos is be really realistic and give you a rough idea of what the worst case would be if everything sold at um, a reduced well, price. It's, it's, yeah, it, um, some things, like Marie said, do sell at full price. Some things sell at uh, quite, a, quite a discount, mm. but other things sort of sell in the middle. So we tend to take this sort of average number. Yeah, we tend to look at the, the what it could be the yeah. best case and what, what it could, could be the be worst, worst case, case and yeah. average it out because yeah. then that gives us more of a, a, an idea. Yeah. So the worst case we would do would be taking 30% off. So if we took 30% off the £486.75p, that already brings us down to £340.73p. The fees would um, would be the same, but they would be a different amount. So they'd now be £57.66. Postage would be the same. So the total fees would be £157.66. If you took that away from the £340.73, you're left with only £183.7p. Now if you take off your £30, your profit is looking like it's going to be £153.7p. So straight away, um, you can sort of see that that £153.7 is completely different to the £486.75 <laughs> that we sort of said we'd get at the beginning because, mm. um, you know, as with anything, you know, you might not sell it for full price. You might have to take offers, sales, things like this. Some things will never, ever sell as well. So yeah. you will have to end up redonating mm. or ditching or doing whatever, you know, you have to, <coughs> excuse me, you have to write these items off. I would, um, our average, uh, we, we I would have thought around the sort of, to 220 220, yeah. 220 mark we we should get which you know from 30 pounds outlay is pretty pretty good and this sort of highlights the difference in sourcing because um mm. you know in a lot of our videos when we're buying things from charity shops we are aiming to get three times the amount back mm. which would be a 90 pound profit mm. um this is um a lot more yeah so it's going to be more like six times so yeah, it's, yeah, and this that, is what yeah. we find with the boot sale for out of everything we buy the boot sale is where we tend to make the most profit from yes so yeah. um so yeah, yeah I mean, spin on those boot sales <laughs> yeah that's it i mean charity shops really are pretty much last aren't they yes yeah, so and we're uh, only but, really going to buy clothes for the yeah, challenge so yeah. we're just picking up other stuff that we see yeah we wouldn't necessarily dedicate the time to do charity shops because mm. you, you don't get enough volume mm. or we don't get enough volume with what we're looking at buying yeah. it's all boot um, sales and auctions for us yes i think so 
But just to give you a, an idea, because there are some of you that do use promoted listings, we would, prom we, everything yeah, we, yeah. we do we, is promoted we listings. Well, yeah. If you promoted on the basic rate at the full price, £486.75p, you're looking at an extra £11.68p in fees. If you were to promote at the, the um, worst case of £340.73p, you're looking at £8.18p extra at, on your costs. Mm. So... Um, the only reason we don't show it is because a lot of people don't use promoted listings. They don't agree with it. So yeah, we, sort of no, don't, no, that's we don't show it, we, we it just but we do like to point out what point it would it out be. So you can add that onto your costs, um, you know, uh, and work it out. But no, we, we don't include it. It's like you said. Um, not everyone are, does. Not everyone does it. So. so all in all, a cracking start to the boot sale season. Mm. Um, we've got 25 listings here now that we can get ready to, to put up. Yes. Um, we've met some amazing people. Yes. <laughs> oh, still, still smiling about before. it. it the, the funny thing is, is we, well, you found this boot sale. We were, uh, we were, we planned to go to one and then <clears> realised, <throat> oh, hang on a minute, it's not open yet. Yeah. Um, so then you had a look, didn't you? And you found just this one. Just a brief look. Uh, just a quick look. And we thought, oh, no, that looks quite good. You know, and we, it just happened to be. I know. The one. It was <laughs> fate, hun. It was fate. fate. It was fate. Yes. But, um, but yeah. it was so, so weird, wasn't it? But, um, it's but no, so absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. Absolutely. Still smiling about it now, hun, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, cringing at the same time because, oh. What's, what's, oh, just, I embarrass myself. I shouldn't be let, let out, hun. I should have to stay at home all the time listing and not be allowed to meet people. Because okay, clearly, I'll, I'll go I, don't, out then. I don't think before <laughs> I speak. That's what I need. You need to um, insert some sort of switch that can, yeah. you know, I press and then I'll I'm kick not. you next time. <laughs> <laughs> or just do that with my mouth. <laughs> just put it over my mouth. <laughs> but no, we had a lovely time. Lovely to meet people. And yeah. um, it was amazing. Yes. Um, got a high five off their daughter, yes, which we was did. really was special cool. as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, she was probably, probably trying to bat me away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> away, <you> crazy lady. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we had a lovely time. Um, looking forward to the next boot sale now. I'm, I'm yeah. ready to go, hun. Mm. But we're gonna have to move quite quickly to get all this listed because we, yeah. you know, we don't want our tap mountain piling up anymore do we so we're gonna have to no really no we've we've got to get cracking. be on it now aren't we yeah. to get it on and get it done that's it so anyway i've waffled on for long enough <laughs> um we're gonna figure out who we can stalk next aren't we hun yes yeah who can we do next <laughs> oh do you know i'd love to meet from reseller <laughs> oh should we go stalk i want to i want to get a pin in, in his map hun <laughs> i reckon we'd get there to be closed someone, yeah. someone would have tipped him off <laughs> yeah that's it crazy lady's coming so um anyway Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, it's been very kind of you. Yes, yeah. If you do like our content, then please nah, do like it. Switched off, huh? No, they have, yeah. <laughs> They're way too crazy. Yeah. Yeah, just give us a thumbs up and um, um, press the subscribe button. Um, you know, subscription is free. You don't Ooh, pay. Free. Um, yeah, that's great, isn't it? I think it's free these days, is it? No. And the bell icon as well will notify you for our future videos if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you.